Question number three, the Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Finance. What recent reports has he received about the outlook for the New Zealand economy? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, the Reserve Bank last week issued its monetary policy statement for September. In that statement, the Reserve Bank Governor confirmed the official cash rate was unchanged at 2.5 per cent. He noted that inflation remains subdued, with the consumer price index increasing by just 0.7 per cent in the year to June. However, inflation is expected to rise gradually towards the midpoint of the Reserve Bank's 1 to 3 per cent target band as economic growth strengthens over the coming year. Supplementary question, Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Supplementary to the Minister of Finance. What did the Reserve Bank say about the expected growth of the New Zealand economy? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, the Reserve Bank said the strengthening New Zealand economy that occurred from late 2012 has continued through the first half of 2013. The economy is estimated to have grown 3 per cent in the year to the September quarter. However, Mr Speaker, I would note that the effect of the severe drought earlier this year is likely to show up in the GDP figure for the June quarter, which is due out this Thursday. For example, the Treasury is in fact expecting a decline in GDP of 0.2 per cent for the June quarter. Despite that, the gradual underlying recovery continues and the Reserve Bank is expecting annual GDP growth to increase to about 3.5 per cent by the middle of 2014. Supplementary question, Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Supplementary to the Minister, how does the New Zealand economy's expected performance over the next few years compare to forecasts for other developed economies and what global issues are expected to come into play? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, as Reserve Bank Governor said in a speech last month, New Zealand is now one of the world's fastest growing developed economies. The growth is expected to remain strong and become more broad based over the next two years. However, the Governor has also noted a number of global risks that could affect New Zealand. For example, speculation about future Federal Reserve policy has put substantial downward pressure on emerging market currencies. And in addition, recent unrest in Syria has seen oil prices move higher. The Reserve Bank says it is of some concern that potential exchange rate depreciation and higher oil prices could cause deterioration in the economies of New Zealand's Asian trading partners. Supplementary question, Honourable Kate Wilkinson. Supplementary to the Minister, what did the Reserve Bank say in its latest monetary policy statement about new restrictions on high loan-to-value mortgage lending and what impact are these measures expected to have on the housing market? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, the Reserve Bank noted that it expects the new LVR speed limits, which come into force on 1 October, to contribute to a fall in demand for housing. That will lead to lower house price inflation than would have otherwise been the case. The Reserve Bank estimates that LVR speed limits are likely to reduce annual house price inflation by about one to four percentage points over the next year. In addition, it estimates the new LVR rules are likely to lower household credit growth by one to three percentage points over the next year. This lower house price inflation is projected to dampen household consumption expenditure over the coming year or so and reduce the expected 90-day interest rate by about 30 basis points. Question number four, Honourable David Parker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance.